I am the apprenticeship coordinator at Maxi. And what my role is, is to make apprenticeship as easy as possible for companies. I make, um, I connect you with all the answers that you'll need from the Department of Labor. I'll be your liaison when registering in an apprenticeship program. We are going statewide now. We have um, five different partners across the street that across the state that we're partnering with. There's five components to an apprenticeship program. Um, all apprentices need to have an employer. I cannot house an apprentice. You need to have a business involvement and all of our programs are business led. Second is the structured on the job training. On the job training is when an apprentice will be hand in hand with their mentor. That's just to find the job training and the appropriate um, competencies that are needed in your apprenticeship program. The related instruction is another component of it, and it's 144 hours of related technical instruction you get a year. Um, some of that training can be brought in from vent different vendors. I look for BOCES classes that would be um, suitable for your needs. I look for community classes. There's a lot of funding associated with that as well that I can partner you with. Um, there's always going to be a wage progression when you have an apprenticeship program, and at the end you'll have a, a state-recognized credential. And why a register apprenticeship <laughs> program? Um, due to the competencies that registered apprenticeship offers, it helps you to have a structured approach. Um, a lot of times you mean well, but if there's no structure to it, you don't complete your program. So that's one thing that we found out with the apprenticeship that it really does help to follow through with what you say you're going to be doing with your training programs. Um, we developed the program to your needs at the company, not every company has the same needs. So we really make sure that we listen to what your needs are and how to make your company grow to your best fit. Um, it reduces costs by developing a highly trained workforce. You're not investing in things that you're not really needing in different programming. Um, you improves your improves your retention rate as well. Um, you, once your employees know that you invest in them, they really do stick with you. We've found that a 90% retention rate stays in apprenticeship because of the loyalty that the company has in their trained employees. Um, and it improves your talent and growth. What our role is at MACME is we help to be the intermediary um, in a program. So we act as the point of contact to register with all that paperwork, we like to fill out the paperwork for you. Uh, we, can, we can do that. Um, we help to identify the appropriate trade and work processes for the company that like Karen was saying, there's many trades across the state. And so not, it, not one trade is best for each company. And if it's not a trade that's out there, we'll help you to customize it. We'll bring in everyone that needs to be there to go over um, the trade that's best fit for you. Um, we also work with training providers to set up related technical instruction. We work with local colleges right now because there's classes out there that aren't fit to employers' needs. We really do customize it to employers' needs. Um, and with the training dollars that are out there, we can have that happen. Uh, some colleges now are starting to do mobile training labs, so they're going right to companies and training a group of apprentices at once. Um, we submit the proper documentation so that we can register your program. We handle all of the documentation for on-the-job training, which is Blue Book. Um, we'll go out, we do a Blue Book registration with you, and we do. I keep track of all the related technical instruction to make sure that you're on track so that your apprentices can get their proper wage increases. Um, as a point of contact, we contact the Department of Labor if there's any related questions or concerns. Um, we work with multiple state agencies and federal agencies to um, get grant funding. So there's always new pots of money coming out there. We make sure that we can secure that for you and partner you with that. Um, benefits to employers, you're developing a pro program that's specific to your needs. It's not something that we're coming in and saying to you that this is what you need. Um, we make sure that it's consistent and structured. We know what skills are taught and learned so that you can have those be applicable to different um, part in your company um, and the hands and skills on application is sometimes best learned through um, having that on the job learning and we invest in your employees it improves your talent recruitment it improves your retention rates it reduces costs developed to highly trained workforce you're not going to have as much um, waste and improves your sales with um, reducing the quality shorter lead times and increasing customer satisfaction 
Um, we're committed to making it easier for companies to establish and maintain registered apprenticeship programs, increasing the number of mid-skill level workers in advanced manufacturing throughout our region and New York State. These are all our partners that we have, and these are the trades that we sponsor right now. We're um, coming to the end of our probation period, so we're looking to add additional trades and help companies um, get connected with those trades. Um, we right now have partnered with Council of Industry in the Hudson Valley. We have RTME in Rochester, um, Mass in the Southern Tier, and also there is CEG on there, which is in the Albany region. We're looking at rolling out into um, New York City region and Long Island. And then those are our seven traits, CNC machinist, tool maker, maintenance mechanic, welder, quality assurance, electromechanical technician, and electronics technician. And then we make it really easy for you. We do all the paperwork and the cliff notes. Any questions you have, we're very accessible.